Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor. Now we're going to work the problems related to standing waves and resonance that we uh, discussed the theory of in the last section, and we'll hopefully find out that these problems are really not too difficult once you understand what you're supposed to do. So the first problem says a string fixed at both ends is 8.4 meters long, and it has a mass of 0 0.120 kilograms. The tension in the string is 96 newtons. Part A says, what is the speed of the waves on the string? So you should remember from a couple sections ago, actually, that the speed of the waves on any string is the tension divided by mass per unit length. You take the square root of that. In this case, the tension was 96 newtons. The mass per unit length, the mass was given to us at... 0 0.120 kilograms and the length was given to us at 8.4 meters which is exactly what we want kilograms per meter all right so we do this division and what we're going to get from you 0 0.014 kilograms per meter we stick both of these quantities in here and we're going to get 96 divided by 0 0.1 I mean, sorry, 0 0.014. Divide them, and then we'll take the square root, and then what we'll get was 82 meters per second. Pretty fast wave. 82 meters per second in that particular string. The second part of the problem says, what is the longest wavelength possible for a standing wave on this string? Well, we know, part B here, we know that the string is between two fixed support structures, and it's uh, 8.4 meters long. 8.4 meters long, right? So the longest wavelength, if you remember, as we excite more and more modes, the wavelength gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So the, the longest wavelength would be the very first mode, the one that, that looks like this, because that one has a wavelength that goes even out to here. Everything else is going to be shorter and shorter and shorter wavelength. So the first mode is the, the mode that we care about. Now remember, that the length was equal to n lambda over 2, right? So if we're looking for the first mode, then what we'll have is L is equal to putting a 1 in here, lambda over 2. So that the wavelength of the longest mode would be 2 times the length of the string, which makes sense because the full wavelength would be out here. So if we put the length of the string in, 2 times 8.4, then the wavelength for the longest uh, the longest wavelength possible for a standing wave here would be 2 times 8.4, which would be 16.8 meters. Okay, 16.8 meters. Pretty simple calculation, but you have to know how to interpret this. The length is going to be equal to an energy multiple of a half wavelength, and you have to know that the first mode is going to be the longest wavelength. Okay, part C says, what is the frequency of the wave in part B? So in other words, for the first mode here, what is the frequency uh, that comes about here? Now, you could use the formula for the frequency that we derived and just put in uh, n is equal to 1, but we could also do it differently. We could say v is equal to f lambda. We, that's a surefire way to always cal calculate the velocity. We know what the wavelength is. We know what the velocity is. Uh, so we can go ahead and calculate that. So v is equal to f lambda. v is equal to 82 meters per second. f is what we're trying to calculate, and lambda is 